everyone, this is Sherry from the Cat Forum. I want to wish you all a very happy 2023 or 2023, however you choose to say it. 2022 is over, most likely. 2022 is in the past, most likely. We can all hope, but by the time you're watching this, it will probably be New Year's Day. And that means that everything that happened, both good and bad, in the previous year can now be forgotten. It can be pushed to the side and we can all look to the future. I know for me, I'm making a New Year's resolution to be a better person, to be a more open person, and to be a more trusting person. All of those things come very, very hard to me, but I'm going to do my best. A long time ago, back when I was in college, I was all of those things. I was very open, I was very trusting, I was very outgoing, I was an extrovert, and I kind of missed those days a little bit. So even though I don't have very many opportunities where I currently live to go out and do those things and meet people and, and all of that, I'm still going to try through the lens of this camera and through other means to just open up myself and see what the world you know, has to offer me. In the meantime, I do apologize for not bringing you the kitten video yet. Kittens, oh, kittens are a bundle. They're a bundle of love, they're a bundle of joy, they're a bundle of hot mess. So I'm still working on the video because the early stages of life are just, they're crazy. There are so many changes happening every single day. Every hour something hap is happening in a kitten's life. So I want to bring you the most comprehensive video possible. So give me just a little more time and I promise that I will bring that to you. In the meantime, I want to challenge you to make a New Year's resolution and not something like I'm going to diet or I'm going to um, read 10 books in the next 12 months or something like that. I want you to do something that actually has some sort of true meaning to you um, and that can also help other people. If, if, I'm more intro if I'm more extroverted, excuse me, I can help other people by bringing them more information about cats, by maybe meeting up with veterinarians and other um, members of the community and doing what I do and that would be doing better for me. For you, it's going to be personal. So you don't have to share that in the comments, you don't have to share that with me through email or you don't have to share that with anybody, but just think about it to yourself and make that resolution to yourself. Um, and that's what I challenge you to do. That's what I challenge all of you to do. I also challenge you not to get smashed and, you know, do anything terribly bad tonight. I mean, you can do some bad. That's great. But don't do anything terribly bad. And if you have an animal, please keep that animal indoors tonight. Mishaps do happen tonight, especially tonight. Also on Halloween and on July the 4th. Whenever there's fireworks involved, mishaps happen. Cruelty happens. It's a fact of life. But we can avoid some of that if you just keep your animal indoors. Whether it's a cat or a dog or a bird or a gerbil, it doesn't matter. Keep it inside. If you think you have a fenced in yard, if you, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't think if you have a fenced in yard, but if you have a fenced in yard, the animal is probably going to find a way to get out of the yard because it is scared. If you have an enclosed patio. The animal will probably find a way to get out of that patio because it is scared. Fireworks are scary. I personally am scared of fireworks. I have a very strong startle response when it comes to fireworks, so I don't enjoy them as much as other people. And I know that if I don't enjoy them, then chances are your cat or dog probably isn't going to enjoy those loud booms either and the the pretty sparkles yeah that doesn't that doesn't make up for it it really doesn't not for me at least fireworks are fine from a distance like if they're put on by a city or uh, like this sydney bridge um, in australia does a magnificent display most places are starting to go to drone work instead of fireworks because it's better for the environment and it's a lot safer but until we all do 
our own drone displays, we still have fireworks. And if you live in the South like I do, as you can probably tell by my accent, fireworks are a really big thing and they go on for days and days and days. So, that being said, please keep your animals safe. I hope none of you have any mishaps, and I wish you all a very happy 2023, and I'll see you in the next video. For now, ciao cats and kittens.